So what's up, world? It's your girl One Wing here at Maya's Treasure Box. About to drop these signs. Well, look, my Leos. Here we go. Y'all don't pay attention to me. It rains all upside down. Y'all know how that go. First of all, my Leos, I want to say congratulations because a lot of us don't grown a lot more than what we thought we knew we already know because y'all know we know everything. That's our secret. Y'all grown a little bit more. A little bit more spiritually, that is. And it's like, okay, the things that you may have lost before, you starting to get it back now. See, I'm going to tell y'all, my Leos, sorry for the wait. I know y'all probably sound full of shit. No, y'all, no, no, I'm not. I'm a Leo just like y'all. Y'all know when we try to make plans, shit always happens. But listen, I don't think it would been good to try to get nobody no advice doing no damn Mercury retrograde. Because look at him, my Leos. If y'all could think back to the middle of May, from the middle of May to the middle of June, whatever went on in that time frame. This Mercury retrograde that we just got out of yesterday. That's what that Mercury retrograde was for, to bring that back around. See, a lot of us had a situation where we probably had people that we thought was down with us. And, like, we loved, I'm talking about get a shirt off our back, love and treat them like family, everything else. And they cross us in the worst way they could possibly cross us. Some some of us don't got any altercations and everything else with these people. But hold on. But, my Leo's. It came back around because maybe you said you don't fuck with that person no more, but you still got that love for Y'all know how a heart is. Boots have told y'all that heart gonna put us in the body bag. Y'all know how our damn hearts can be. But it came back around again and some more shit came out. And now you understand the plan. That's what was meant to happen, my Leos. And if you understood the plan, and even if it's somebody from your past that came back around and you gave that shit one more spin and some shit came out, let that shit go. Let it go. You got to be an advanced Leo because if you wasn't an advanced Leo, then you would not be on this channel. And what I mean by that simply is, my Leos, y'all know we know every fucking thing. You got to be advanced to know that you don't know everything. That's all I'm saying because we all got to help each other. I don't know everything either. Shit. It's the simplest shit I don't get. I get the shit that you can't see. But my Leos, we don't did a lot of sacrifice. A lot of sacrifice. But everything that we went through is what we had to go through because that's all a part of our destiny. I'm talking about don't been through the muck. So it's like now it's like you at that door like which way do I actually go? One thing about my Leo, they can take everything from us, especially materialistically and everything else. They can't take our motherfucking joy, our dignity. They can't take that. They can hurt our pride. They could damage it. They could bruise. But guess what? We get back up off of that because as long as we stand in our ground, guess what? It sets that solar plexus chakra off. Yeah, it comes with patience and persistence. Cause people are like, yeah, all you been saying all did it, but why you did it? Let me tell you something. What a gift is. A gift is something that you naturally can do, and you have no idea what other people they got to learn and study how to do it. So people don't look at a gift like other people will look at it and say, "Ooh, that's a gift you got." People don't look at it like that. And guess what? The way God made things. He ain't give you your gift to help yourself, goddamn. He gave your gift to help other people. See, when you help other people, that's how you help yourself. I'm just saying, my Leos. So, my Leos, you're setting that foundation right now. And it's like, I don't bend down the furthest I can go. I can't go no further than that. That's the law of gravity. That's not like that's physics. It's nothing lower than that. It's only up from this point on. And some of us probably had somebody that we really wanted and loved. And it suddenly don't spin back around again from that Mercury retrograde that we let go. Oh, hell no. Nah. Choose wisely. Pick and choose your poison goddamn wisely. Remember, that's your own fucking poison, okay? Because I'm picking and choosing my motherfucking shit wisely. Forget that, my Leos. I'm just saying. You got to. You got to. My my life purpose, my own life purpose number is a five. So change is inevitable for me and it's like i hate change y'all know damn well we don't like that we like to know what the fuck is finna happen before it happens we don't like, like damn change and shit and patience is not my fucking virtue but god said you know what sit your ass down because i got some more shit to tell you right so god say 
You set this foundation, so I want you to make sure this bitch is solidified this time. You don't been through so much shit. You don't get your heart to so many people. So many people, and they don't shit it on you every fucking time. And it's like, what do I do for him? But for some reason, the way I made you, your heart's still pure. Your heart's still gold. So you don't hate. Ain't nothing wrong with that. People say, you you crazy as hell. No, you don't supposed to hate nobody. If a person can cross you and you can let that shit go and don't fuck with them, and not hate them at the same time. Congratulations, because it, it took some time to get here. Yeah, took some time to get here, because we had to really get the fuck away from a lot of people. We had to separate ourselves. And it's like, which way do I go? Y'all know we can be so smart, we dumb at times, but it's all good. Okay, we don't get that shadow work, all the obstacles in front of us. But guess what? It just showed us that if we could fight these temptations, and we could be aware of of the motherfucking, we, we, we could, if we could smell the rat before the rat come, we know how to put the trap out. Guess what? We good. And we speak in our mind now. Oh, yes, Lord Jesus. Ah, hallelujah. That crown chakra don't went off down. My Leo's, but listen here. We out of retrograde. We got a little bit more time left. It'll be right before the end of this month. You remember, we still in the shot of addition. If Leo's it is a boss, father figure, maybe even the government. So I'm just saying, like, shh, listen. Like I said, I appreciate everybody that's rocking with me, that don't rock for me, that's still loyal in my corner and everything. I appreciate it. Because guess what? And the ones that don't fuck with me and I don't fuck with you either. Listen, that's not my battle. This is God's battle, okay? I don't get it. You know, I'm that motherfucking peach. Y'all can have that shit. Y'all can beef with y'all self and everything else. Because at some point, it should get sickening and tiring. So, my Leo, let's see. We out of retro now. Uh-huh. They're the ones. Yeah, y'all don't have that one on camera said some shit to you. I'm talking about the shit they said. You're like, well, how long your ass been holding this shit in? Uh-huh. Yeah. Because see, one thing about it, we don't took so damn much. Look, what fell? We don't took so much. We don't took so much to the fact that I got one more relationship left in me. Now, some of my Leos could be dealing with us a Libra. Or some of y'all could be going through some type of justice, something going through the judicial system or any kind of format. Like some of y'all could be going through a divorce or something like that. But it's like the wounded soul is like you don't took so much, but you still going to stand strong. Mm-hmm. Because I don't know who it is, but somebody came back. Listen, it's going to be balanced out. Whoever this is, because somebody came around, and this person could be even younger than you. This is the Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, maybe even an Aquarius, a Libra, or a um, Gemini. Maybe another Leo. Strong Scorpio, too. Whatever it is. Somebody, you got into somebody. Somebody said something to you that they had no business. Goddamn saying somebody want to come and go go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they got so much to goddamn say. They might be younger than you, or you younger than them, or maybe that's what you did. Somebody flip it however you need to go, cause somebody said some shit, and that's all you needed. That's all you needed. It's like when that happens, like. Uh, it don't balance out your... Uh, yeah, they made you stand up in your motherfucking glory. They don't even know it. It's all good. Because guess what? It came to a motherfucking ending. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. It came to an ending. But guess what? Now... <laughs> this motherfucking crazy part. They motherfucking think about your ass. Now they sitting over like, damn, I fucked up. You know what? You didn't care when you were saying the motherfucking shit. Nine times out of ten, they probably a narcissist. Another part of that shit is, listen, this is a person that... It's like this right here. They don't give a fuck that they said the shit. They don't care how you felt at that moment. They just wondering or realizing or thinking like, damn. I hope that motherfucker just let it go. Like, forget about the shit. Because you know what? Y'all know how we is. We be, we be so chill. We be laid back. We don't be saying nothing. But see, we really ain't saying nothing. Whoever this is, this is somebody that we deal with for a little minute. Whoever this person is, listen, we really ain't saying nothing. When we always hold it is when we quiet. Be worried. They probably don't threaten to come over there and beat you up and everything. Kill you. Oh, yeah. It was a good little argument took over. Yes, Lord. This is this is one that's so smart to they dumb as fuck. An arrogant asshole. This is an arrogant motherfucking ass. Asshole, you hear me? They arrogant. You know what you do know. You know you feel that connection. You know this got to be a this got to be a soul connection. Yeah, it is. It's a soulmate. But some of us is karmic. 
I'm just saying, karma could be good or bad. It all depends on you. This got to be a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, whoever this person is. They probably look good, handsome. They listen. They so smart to they goddamn dumb. Mm hmm. Some y'all could even be dealing with a Sagittarius, and they probably sitting up there waiting on your ass to come back around when the bear shit in the woods and wipe his ass with a white rabbit gonna be the day because you said the shit out your mouth. One thing about a Leo boy, you can't touch us physically. You can't hurt us. It's the shit that come out your mouth. It's respect. Yes, so uh, uh, some of us in there say, I'm just waiting on my motherfucking husband because I'm waiting on my too. Y'all find my y'all send me tell them I'm, I'm here to turn on the damn light. But guess what? Patience and perseverance, persistence, it's all gonna pay off because what we see now is what we thought was a wish and a dream come true. With this person, we realize, I'm oh, no, mm -mm. it's too late to apologize, it's too late. Y'all, my voice gonna leave me alone. Listen. It's still Leo season. Y'all know they hate us. It's all good. I don't care about that shit because it's still our season. It's too late because you realize that you all this, you, you had to sit back and think. Or maybe this person just had to sit back and think because you see what you thought was what you wanted. That ain't what you wanted. Now this person realized, damn, all that time, this motherfucker been trying to make this shit work. I'm so conflicted in my damn mind and shit. I could have some of this person. I'm half-assing them. Like a bitch, and I can have something with this person. Like, damn. And they see, like, they they trying to work on it. Listen, whoever this person is, they trying to work up or something to come back around. They trying to work on themselves to come back around because they know the only way they can get you. That's if you take them back. If that shit got to be committal. We don't went through the boyfriend girlfriend stage. Mm -hmm. We don't went through that right now because it's like, ooh. And then you know what? That's good for that motherfucking ass. Fuck that shit. They motherfucking hurt us. That mo they motherfucking, they feeling that shit. They fucking feeling it. Guess what? Instead of them saying, I'm sorry, they use their mother. They want to come out of their fucking mouth. They feeling that motherfucking shit. Nah, they don't know how to eat. Yeah, one minute, oh, mm -hmm. one minute they want to come back in the park. Mm -hmm. yeah, then you say, all right, I'm going here to make it right. Shit. You saw the truth for what it was. It's not Leo's. Mm-hmm. Saw the truth for what it was. It's how you said this. How I'm going to do this for me. I'm going to do this for me. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Libra. Y'all don't saw the truth. And whoever this is, it could be a cancer involved, maybe even an Aries. But it's like taking these new beginnings. You had to get yourself together. Taking these new beginnings. It's going to be justified. It's going to be justified. And guess what? You don't learn to fall back in love with yourself. And when you fell in love with yourself, you walked away from that bullshit. So now that motherfucker see, like, I fucked up. And you seeing, like, that was the best thing that could have happened to me. What the hell they did to me. Because other than that, I wouldn't have fucking got it. They trying to, they going to come back. Leo Sagittarius, Aries, Strong Sagittarius, y'all. Maybe even some of y'all dealing with a Gemini, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer. Listen, whoever this person is, they want to come back because they see you as their queen. Some of y'all could be pregnant from this person. If not, be careful. This person want to come back. This person really holds you on the pedestal. So this person want that family shit with you. This person, it took for them to lose to realize they had already won, right? So, they realize now nah, because it's like they don't have that epiphany once you took your power back. They don't have that epiphany. And it's like that little bird said, mm -hmm, that they'll lose that rug. And they realize everything I always wanted, it was always, I always had it. I had already won. Now I don't fucking lost. That's what the fuck happens. Stop playing with us. Mm -hmm, know how we used to couldn't sleep at night. Can't sleep at night when you are on my mind. Bobby Womack's on the radio. If you think you're lonely now, wait a minute. This is too deep. <laughs> Gotta change the station. So, listen. This is a person that's from your past. And this person had you in a third-party situation. And it's like... You don't set up them sleepless nights, too. And then, again, this could also go two ways. The person that you're dealing with, they could always feel like this shit too good to be true. Because somebody you may remind them of from their past, it could be it's something that's, like, self-consciously ingrained inside of them that they don't, they're not even aware of. And it scared them off when they had their guards up. Okay, so they, they it's like, damn, I'm seeing what I, I'm seeing where I messed up at. They seen, they want to come back around. They want to start all over. They want to work this out. They want to balance this out. And you sitting there like, 
you know what? I really wanted this to happen. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Pisces. JLB could be their initials. And now some of y'all like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. I'm, 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 I'm fucking petty. Fuck that shit. Yes, bitch. I want you to hurt. I want you to feel just what the fuck you did to me, okay? I'm glad you're feeling that shit. And I'm, I'm, I'm doing all this talking out in my heart. I'm like, oh, Lord, I don't want them to hurt like that. Don't tell nobody we weak like that. But for real, forget that. It came to a motherfucking end. Yes, the fuck it did. Because that bear did not shit in the woods and wipe his ass with that white rabbit. He damn sure did. And that bear was walking around with a shitty ass and his ass was itching too. He found out his ass smelled like shit too. Uh-huh. Because see, this coming from the higher ups, right? Because it's like, this motherfucker came and said some shit to you. And it's like your intuition just told you, okay, just chill. Just chill. You ain't saying nothing. You ain't saying nothing. You watching. You paying attention. You on guard. That was meant to happen. It was meant to happen. So, it's like, we got options and we got choices. And now they just sitting up there. And they just stuck at like, damn, I really fucked up. One minute, they're cool. The next minute, they love you. Then they're your, your, they're your homeboy or your homegirl. Then they motherfucking goddamn spiritual. Then they fucking gutter. Then they explicit. They don't even know who the fuck they are. What they are to the fucking devil. That's what they were. Toxic as hell. Toxic as fuck. That's all the, ooh, shit. Oh, y'all, they toxic as hell. Y'all be careful. Because y'all got, listen, they trying to do some black magic to get back. Because they want to come back around. That devil trying to come back around, y'all. That devil is trying to come back around. But y'all manifesting the mirror. And some y'all got, it's, this is two ways. Some y'all got somebody that trying to put some roots on y'all. Oh, yes. They trying to put some roots on y'all. Because you ain't saying shit. And they tired. Now they realizing. Now they feeling like Arnold, like they carrying the weight of the world on their shoulder. Like, um, now I realize that I love her. <laughs> my mind's playing tricks on me. My Leo said in their motherfucking power. My Leo said they got me fucked up. I'm standing in my motherfucking power and my glory because I got the strength to endure anything. We can endure anything physical. It's when it comes to our emotions. That's where they get us at. But we don't learn how to balance it because we don't learn. All right, motherfucker, y'all want to keep playing. I ain't going to play chuckles and keep getting mad at y'all. Y'all better listen to Kodak and they on ride way and get ready. Kodak say, Kodak say, God, his brother told him God been wanting a blessing, but he had fuck niggas aside him. He could that why he couldn't get blessed. We try to help every goddamn body, y'all listen. We got to help ourselves first, y'all. We're a little special, so I, that's a little simple shit we don't get. It ain't nobody else's business. That's our fucking business. We motherfucking Leos. We still motherfucking rock, okay? We still walk in the motherfucking building. I'm telling you, I be feeling like man when I walk through. Don't let us have on a new motherfucking outfit. Come on now. Y'all, we smell our own self. We be the shit. I'm just saying, my Leos, it's our motherfucking time. Boss the fuck up. Fix your crown. My kings and my queens is like this right here. If you in the wrong, take your charge. I'm telling you, it's being pushed for everybody to arrive. Look how people just dropping there. Y'all think that's a coincidence? I keep telling y'all this is what happened. Them nice people went too far with the COVID. Okay? They was meant to get the people with the color skin like this. But what had happened was, see, they didn't take accountability that we had the melanin. And so they end up, you know what I'm saying, messing up more. They, they, their color, you know, like, you know, just, I'm just saying, the light skinned version. And so what had ended up happening after that is, it's like, now people don't care about how people used to think about tradition and everything else. It's plenty of interracial couples. Shit. People don't care about that no more because at the same time, we still bleed out the same color blood. So it's not no more like really pure of the, the, of, of the, the, light, the lighter skinned people like that. So guess what they do then? They don't be in fucking abortions. Population control. They don't think we're in a little too far. That's what they get for trying to play with goddamn Mother Nature and everything else. And now they don't lost they pillar of the community. Because Queen Elizabeth was about 559 years old. And y'all know I'm not fucking lying. I'm just saying. It's all good. It's the dawn of the rejects. Here we come. They can't even sleep on us no more, boy. We coming. We woke. We live. We in the fact. And we ain't going nowhere. We finna stamp this shit. It's the dawn of the rejects.